Assalamualaikum and hello everyone In this video, we're going to learn a new subtopic Which is 14.2 chemical properties So what we're going to look at Is actually, actually explain the nucleophilic substitution reaction of haloalkane So haloalkane ni and the nucleophilic substitution Okay, what? Okay, because our carbon halogen bond is actually a polar bond Because we have different electronegativity kan Satu, One of carbon kita ni adalah group 14 and halogen kita group 17 So, across the period uh, Electronegativity increase So, what happened Group 17 ni is more electronegative It means that more electron is attracted to it So, to lah it has partial negative charge So, bila dia ada negative partial um, Apa ni partial negative So, carbon have partial positive So, bila dia adalah partial positive So, it means that This carbon is actually Poor dengan elektron So, bila dia adalah poor dengan elektron Maka dia adalah electrophile lah But then, because the reaction happen at this compound We call it as electrophilic site Okay, so here dia kata Carbon bearing the halogen is partially positive Which is electrophilic site And attracts nucleophile So, what happen? Nucleophile ni, again dia adalah Rich dengan elektron Ah, Okay So, what happen? In the nucleophilic substitution, a nucleophile will come and replace halogen. Okay, kalau kita belajar free radical uh, substitution, apa ni, kita punya halogen replace hydrogen kan? But in this case, for the nucleophilic substitution, nucleophile ni akan replace our halogen. Be it chlorine, bromine, iodine or fluorine. Okay, why? Sebab actually, our halide ion is a good living group. So, it could be replaced macam tu sahaja It could leave the compound by itself macam tu Sebab nanti kita punya compound ni pun Our X ni dah capai octet dah So it's a stable compound It's a good living group So let's look at the reaction Okay first we're going to look for the nucleophilic substitution Okay but then again I'm just going to remind you What is a nucleophile Nucleophile love nucleus And it itself is a rich electron Okay, so bila dia ada rich electron, hindi dia negatively charge molecule or there's the presence of lone pair for the molecule. So, let's look for the first case here. Now, oh ni, sebenarnya potassium hydroxide pun boleh. Okay, we're going to form alcohol. Okay, so NaOH ni form of Na plus dengan OH minus. So, the nucleophile present is actually our OH minus, the negatively charged species. Okay, so we're going to substitute. And we're going to replace our halogen. So, dalam case ni, check our, where is our halogen. We're going to replace it with OH. Okay. So, first kita tengok example A. So, we're going to replace our chlorine dengan OH. Okay. So, Cl ni akan replace dengan OH. So, what happened here? Okay. Ada byproduct. Okay. So, dia ada Cl minus kan? So, adanya just present of Na plus. So, Na plus ni will react dengan Cl minus ni lah. Okay, sebab nanti once Cl ni leave the um, apa ni leave the compound the present the Cl minus so gabungan Na plus jadilah NaCl so that's for example A so example B okay again we're gonna replace our chlorine with OH okay and then what we have here adalah Na plus we write with dengan Cl minus ni lah okay Okay, so kita tengok question C in terms of skeleton. So, again, what we're going to do is we're going to draw the skeletal structure. Okay, bond ni pun we're still going to show sebab carbon ni, it bonded to OH. So, we have to show one bond here. Okay, dah uh, gantikan. And then, OH ni, sorry, uh, BR ni akan combine with Na+. Okay, so question D pun sama je. So, what we're going to do... Okay, we're just going to draw the original one. Okay, and OH akan gantikan chlorine and dapat NaCl. So, that's for the first one. So, we're going to form alcohol. Okay, now what I want to do is actually the classification of haloalkane. So, carbon chlorine ni, the uh, attached to only one uh, carbon. So, dia adalah primary haloalkane. How about yang C ni? Okay, carbon bromine ni, carbon yang contain bromine, dia bonded to two carbon. So, secondary haloalkane. Question D ni kita tengok Okay, ha. carbon chlorine ni Senang, I'm just going to label it Carbon chlorine ni, kita tengok the bond dia kepada 3 carbon Okay, so kita akan panggil dia sebagai Tertiary haloalkin So, yang ini is just a revision sahajalah Okay, so now what we're going to do adalah We're going to look for 
part 2 Okay, number 2 Masih lagi produk dia alkohol Tapi the agent dia berbeza So, this time around is H2O So, H2O ni sebenarnya is a band molecule And it there's the presence of lone pair So, that is our nucleophile Dia bukan H plus O, H minus eh the, the, the presence of lone pair on oxygen So, nucleophile dalam kes kita adalah H2O But we still gonna substitute OH juga Okay, why we're going to substitute OH Sedangkan the H2O eh, Yang itu we're going to look into detail when we learn mechanism But then what you should know Dia sama sahaja dengan um, Yang number 1 ni we're going to substitute OH sahaja Okay Again, how we're going to do it uh, Yang ini uh, I'm just going to copy paste it here But then I don't have my byproduct ni lah Okay, so again, so that's why I don't have to write it down. But then again, our byproduct is not actually compulsory for you to write it down. So, sebenarnya, I'm just going to write down supaya it's clear to you where actually the atom goes. Okay, so right now, ini pun sama juga. I'm just going to copy paste it here. So, that is actually for number 1 and number 2. Now, let's look for number 3. Okay, so yang ini lain sikit. So, what is actually ether? Ether adalah, the functional group is actually alkoxy. So, ether ni, that adalah COC. Okay. Uh, cuma, oxygen, remember that it already has two bonds. Sebab adanya presence of lone pair dah capai octet. So, carbon must have four single covalent bond lah. Ataupun four bond. Okay, so that is ether. That is product. So, dalam kes ni, what is our nucleophile? Nucleophile is our alcohol. Aruh tu apa sebenarnya? R2 is actually any alkyl group kita. Okay, so contohnya kita tengok um, example A. R kita is actually our CH3. So, question C ni. R kita adalah our CH3, CH2. So, again, R is actually our alkyl group. So, we're going to substitute. Okay, H3 is not included. We're going to substitute OR. Okay, so what does it mean by substitute dengan OR ni? So, let's look pada example A. Okay, so here what we have here adalah CL ni akan substitute dengan OR kita lah. Okay, awak buat our hydrogen. Hydrogen tu akan combine dengan our living group kita lah. Which is our chlorine. So, what we have here adalah. So, what's the product that we're going to form? It's actually, okay, yang ini kita akan replace dengan our CH3O. Okay, again, our product kita adalah COC. So, maknanya ini carbon. Carbon must attach to oxygen and oxygen must attach to carbon. Okay, and then tengok carbon dia adalah CH3 sahaja. So, I'm just going to write down my H3. So, again, this is actually my product ataupun ether. So, that's why I substitute OR adalah untuk form our ether. Okay, so dia mesti COC, bukan CCO, dia mesti COC. So, let's look pada question B lah. Okay, so tapi for this time around, I want to do the condensed part. Okay, so this is actually the condensed structure. Okay, so CH3 ni is actually yang, yang ni. Again, CH3 yang ni nak condensed kan. Okay, so what we have here is chlorine. But then again, chlorine ni will combine with hydrogen. Okay, by product here is CL so that you can see lah. So what we have here adalah CH3O. Again, remember ether mesti lah carbon, oxygen, carbon. Okay, carbon, oxygen. So again, we have another carbon which is our CH3. So this is actually our ether. Okay, again, there are two ways of doing it. One is satu kumat tulis. Nak tunjuk the bond between oxygen carbon boleh. Tak nak tunjuk pun, it's fine. Okay, so let's look for question C. So, this is the type of skeletal structure. So, skeletal structure ni, kena tunjuklah. Okay, here is our bromine akan bonded dengan hydrogen. So, HBr. Okay, but then again, what we're going to do adalah carbon ni akan attach to oxygen. So, we have to show lah. This carbon is attached to oxygen And the oxygen is bonded to two carbon Okay, so When we count back Okay, kita tengok ada One, two So, itu yang akan substitute So, this is actually our product for example C So, how about example D So, example D Let's do it together again So, bromine ni akan combine with hydrogen to get HBr Okay, and then, okay, so oxygen will substitute to this uh, bond. So, kena tunjuklah COC kita kan. So, carbon buat to oxygen and then oxygen is bonded to two carbon. Okay, so here we got our COC which is our ether for example D. So, if you be unsure, boleh je label your carbon itself. 
Okay, so kita tengoklah. Let's look for question F lah. Question E, I believe you could do it yourself. So, let's look for question F. Okay, so what happened here adalah I'm just going to draw again my structure dengan metal tu nanti, dengan metal. Okay, so chlorine akan combine dengan hydrogen. Okay, so what we have here is our oxygen. Okay, but then carbon, oxygen mesti carbon lagi sekali. Okay, so what we have. Okay, I'm going to label carbon number 1 dengan 2. Ataupun I tak nak nak buat street food ni lah. Okay, 1 and 2 here. Okay, so maknanya we have 2 uh, carbon bonded. Okay, tapi pada carbon number 1 ada satu metal. Okay, so that is actually our F. So, be unsure boleh label sahaja. Okay, so let's look for um, number 4. Okay, dalam case ni. Okay, ada satu yang lain-lain. Yang lain. We have itu. So, what is actually itu? Itu tu adalah etanol ataupun CH3CO2. H2OH But then Simplified kan jadi Itoh sahaja Okay So sekarang ni The reagent dia adalah NaOR Okay sebenarnya NaOR ni Is actually From Na plus Dengan OR minus Ataupun sebenarnya Minus charge ni Is actually on our oxygen So means buat um, uh, Apa ni Charge tu di depan lah Okay So produk dia masih lagi itu The same as our Example 3 Okay uh, so, this is actually our product. So, uh, apa beza dia dalam case ni, our nucleophile, uh, for the number 4, nucleophile kita beza pula. Nucleophile kita adalah OR minus ni itself. Okay, but then again, I like to do negative tu pada oxygen so that we're not going to get confused. Again, nucleophile ada negatively charged ataupun ada lone pair. So, kalau yang number 3 ni, adanya the presence of lone pair. Tapi kalau number 4 ni, kita ni nucleophile is negatively charged. Tapi sama juga, when we substitute, we're going to form ether. Okay, so what we're going to sub, masih lagi OR, which R is actually our alkyl group. Okay, so let's look example A. So, example A ni yang senang mis buat adanya... Na plus dengan OCH3 minus. So, what I'm going to do adalah Na plus ni akan react dengan Cl. We'll combine dengan Cl minus ni. Okay, so what is left adalah our OCH3. So, dapatlah our ether. Okay, so this may sama je dengan yang question 3 ni kan. Example 3A ni. But then sebab ada Na plus ni. Na plus will combine dengan Cl yang Cl minus. Okay, so yang um, the rest kita akan substitute. Okay, so let's look here pada question B ni. So, uh, yang ini kita akan buat. So, what we have here adalah Na plus dengan CH3, CH2O minus. Okay, so itu yang akan substitute. Okay, so sekarang ni what I'm going to do adalah combinekan Na ni mestilah dengan our bromine. Eh, dalam kes ni berubin terbisi up pula So okay. okay So what we have here adalah So maknanya kita akan form our ether So in, remember that adalah COC So maknanya oxygen ni bonded to CH2 CH3 Okay so how we make sure The CH2 bukan CH3 Senang kita buat expanded Sebab when we try Kalau kita buat OCH3 CH2 Bila kita buat expanded Baru kita nampak It's actually whether it's correct or not Okay so question C D dengan E, I believe you could do it yourself. Tapi let's do it together question F. So question F ni, so I'm just going to write down balik semua ni. Okay, so what we have adalah, okay ada satu metal dekat sini. Okay, lepas tu what we have, Cl ni akan combine dengan uh, Na+. So dia akan jadi NaCl. So what we have here itulah kita akan substitute with our chlorine. Nah, so mis senang sini mis copy paste je. Okay, so this is actually the product for question F. Actually, number 3 dengan 4 ni ada similarities je. Okay, why? Because it's uh, it will form ether for do, uh, for this two lah. Okay, tapi beza dia is actually pada reagent kita ni. The first one ni. Sebab bila reagent dia berbeza. Our nuclear profile is a bit different. Number four, dia adalah OR minus. That's the presence of negatively charged. But then untuk question three, dia adalah nuclear profile kita sebab presence of lone pair. And then yang lain dia sikit adalah byproduct dia. Tapi yang lain sebenarnya sama je. Akan substitute to form ether.